Hello, welcome to Elite Weather. Mr. G here, your meteorologist with the weather forecast coming up for you Monday. I hope you guys all oh, had a great weekend. I took a weekend off so I can get a break. But now we're back again with your weather forecast on the daily here. So let's take a look at our weather today and let you know what we've been seeing out there for your Sunday evening here as we head into the overnight hours to get you prepared for your Monday morning ahead. So as we take a look at our national radar, we're seeing a lot of rain over the eastern half of the nation, especially across the northern plains in the upper Mississippi Valley and into portions of the northeast. A lot of heavy showers and some thunderstorms out there. Some pretty persistent rainfall here through portions of Minnesota and North Dakota as well. And those showers and storms are spreading through Iowa and into portions of northern Illinois, Indiana, and into Ohio, as well as southern uh, Wisconsin and the state of Michigan here. And those showers and storms will continue into portions of the northeast as we head into your Monday. And then a lot of scattered showers and storms here across the southeast through the state of Florida and along the Gulf Coast and the lower Appalachian mountain range as we have moisture that's coming in off of the Atlantic and up from the Gulf of Mexico as this stuff kind of circumvents the the uh, periphery of the Bermuda High, so it's pumping in all of that tropical moisture. And that moisture is also feeding this moisture here across the four corners where we have our monsoon thunderstorms this afternoon that's really dumping a lot of rain out across the four corners through Arizona and New Mexico and into portions of Colorado and the Central Plains there. So that is a look at today's national radar. Here's our watches and hazards for this evening. We're going to have heat advisories in place across the Pacific Northwest. This is mainly for the upcoming Monday up there as we're going to see those temperatures approach the triple digits yet one more time as we're going to have another heat wave across the Pacific Northwest coming into your Monday. We're going to see that red flag of advisory in Oregon there and our issues with some flash flooding here through the southern, central and southern Arizona where we've been seeing those monsoon storms and into Colorado as well. We're going to be seeing that more Moisture from the monsoons and we're seeing uh, flash flood issues this afternoon. Heat advisory across the center of the nation through Missouri and into Kansas and Oklahoma. We're going to see those temperatures near 100 but very high humidities. It's going to make it feel like 105 to 110 tomorrow so we're going to be dealing with that as well. Heavy rain through here through the upper Mississippi Valley through portions of Minnesota, Iowa and Wisconsin where we are seeing heavy rain that's going to be contributing to some flooding and flooding here in the northern Appalachian mountain range through West Virginia and Kentucky. So once again more rainfall for an area that does not need it as you've had plenty of rainfall over the last couple of weeks in that region heat advisory for the Pacific North for the Northeast into New England this evening where we're seeing those temperatures in the 90s and that high humidity as well coming up off of the Gulf Stream so we're seeing that moisture that heat coming in off from the south so ahead of this frontal boundary that's headed your way so you're gonna have a heat advisory for your Monday out ahead of those storms before they move into your area and here is a look at our surface analysis for your Monday coming in for late tonight and into Monday. We have this frontal boundary here that's going to um, really affect the weather for a lot of folks on your Monday. So we're going to be seeing this front provide a lot of showers and thunderstorms through portions of the Great Lakes the Midwest as well and into the Northeast and we have this high pressure that's out over the Atlantic and this periphery that flow around that high is bringing that moisture in off of the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico so we're going to be seeing those showers and thunderstorms apart across portions of Texas the southeast, the Gulf Coast, and up to into the mid-Atlantic states. So scattered afternoon post thunderstorms for those regions and our four corners highest position right here. So it's going to be pumping in and pulling up some of that moisture off the Gulf of California and the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to be seeing those monsoon storms. High pressure starting to build in across the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rockies. And that high pressure is going to cause those temperatures to rise across the Pacific Northwest through Oregon and Washington. So that is the look at our surface analysis. Now let's talk about your severe weather outlook. Check this out. No severe weather expected for your, for your Monday. No severe weather expected for your Tuesday. Very good. But we will see a lot of non-severe thunderstorms across much of the eastern half of the nation, the south, 
and the four corners, the desert southwest, even up into the Pacific Northwest. It's the northern, the north central portions of the United States that's going to be dry for the first couple of days of this week. So a very quick severe weather outlook, but no severe weather to be had. But you will see a lot of thunderstorms that could produce some heavy rainfall. So heavy rainfall and heavy thunderstorms is going to be the order of the day. But no hail, no tornadoes, or no damaging wind events expected over the next two days. All right, here is your weather forecast for your Monday and Tuesday. And tomorrow, again, we're going to be dealing with that frontal boundary here that's moving from the Great Lakes. And it's got some embedded short waves here. These little impulses of energy along this frontal boundary. Got one here, 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 and here. And now that's going to contribute to some areas of a lot of rainfall, some thunderstorms. It's going to enhance those thunderstorms that would normally form along the front. This is going to enhance those storms, so make it more numerous. So we're going to see a lot more thunderstorms through portions of the Great Lakes and into the Northeast, the Midwest, the Appalachians, the Southeast Coast, the state of Florida, the Gulf Coast, and Eastern Texas here. We could be seeing some thunderstorms tomorrow, and we have our monsoons in place here across the four corners. So we're going to see those monsoons through the deserts of California, Arizona, New Mexico, the mountains of Colorado as well. So we're going to be seeing uh, those thunderstorms in the afternoon once again. And even a few storms here through the, the uh, southern Appalachian, not the Appalachians, the southern Cascades and the Sierra Nevada. So Lake Tahoe, Carson City, Reno, Nevada could see an afternoon thunderstorm as well from some of that monsoon moisture that's out there. Dry weather across the northern plains, the northern Rockies, and the port, most of the Pacific Northwest will have a dry day for your Monday. And as we take a look at Tuesday, Tuesday kind of look much like Monday, but we will dry out across the Great Lakes and have that nice weather across the upper tier of the nation. So the northern half of the nation from the Great Lakes, the upper Mississippi Valley, the High Plains, the uh, northern Rockies, we'll start to see some showers over toward the Pacific Northwest as we're going to have a weak area of low pressure come on shore with a couple of short waves and troughs associated with it. And so it's going to kick off some showers in the Sierra, in the Sierra Nevadas up to the Cascades and portions of the Northern Rockies and the Great Basin as well. So we're going to be dealing with those monsoons. We could see some flash flooding out toward the Western deserts and to Southern California. Some monsoons could spark some flash flooding for your Tuesday. But we will see some thunderstorms through New Mexico, through the central and southern plains as well. And even the state of Texas could get some showers and thunderstorms and maybe a little bit cooler weather. It will be still in the 100s in areas that don't receive some rainfall. But if you get clouds and some rain, you might drop down into the upper 90s or even cooler if you get a good enough storm. So maybe some relief for the folks in Texas. And we'll be seeing those showers and storms along the Gulf Coast through the lower Mississippi Valley, the Appalachians, the state of Florida, the southeast again, mid-Atlantic into the New England states. Another short wave impulse right there, one right here. So we're going to be dealing with an increase in the number of showers and thunderstorms, but we won't have to worry about severe weather at this point in the forecast. It might look different when I do the forecast tomorrow. Now let's talk about the tropics. The tropics are starting to get a little bit interesting in the Atlantic because it's been very, very quiet this year. We have this uh, interest area out here off of the uh, Cape Verde Islands of Africa. Uh, we're just entering the Cape Verde season right now. This is when we start to look for a tropical development. And we got this guy here that has about a 10% chance of developing further over the next 48 hours so that guy is there so we're finally starting to see a little bit of action coming off of the Cape Verde Islands of Africa and we're starting to see a little bit of action right here through the Southern Caribbean so we have to keep an eye on this guy because it might become interesting there down at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico over the Yucatan Peninsula so if it was right now over the Yucatan but if it moves out over the open water it might develop into something so we'll keep an eye on that guy so let's take a look at the Pacific we have Tropical Storm Howard out here that is just a minimal tropical storm right now with 40 miles per hour winds and then we have this guy way out here in the Central Pacific kind of sort of and he's got about a 10% chance of 
developing over the next 48 hours, but it's so far out here, it's not going to be an, a factor to anybody or anything, but we'll keep an eye on it and see what happens with it. But I don't anticipate it really developing fully into a tropical depression or even a tropical storm. So we'll have to keep an eye and see what happens with that. And we have Howard out there that's moving off to the west, northwest. And it's just a barely a tropical storm. So it's not going to intensify. Here's a little bit the latest update on tropical storm Howard out here. So it's going to ride along the coast here and head off to the northwest. It influences surf along Baja California here and La Paz and Ensenada so we might get some some good wave action as this guy passes to the west but eventually it's going to head out head out toward the west and the weekend into a drop, tropical depression by Friday but between now and then we'll have a nominal tropical storm riding up along the coast of Baja California and it's just going to increase the surf a little bit for the surface a very teeny little bit but it might make things a little interesting so that is a look at your forecast for your Monday and Tuesday. I'm your meteorologist, Mr. G, back from my brief, brief vacation there this weekend and back to the grind again. So I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Have a good day at work tomorrow or school if you're starting school already. Some schools might start a little bit earlier than others. But all in all, have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.